Hi, I'm Paul Sinners um, from firewallsfornow.com.au. Today we're going to look at what you're going to get in the box uh, with the SonicWall TZ400. This is the non-wireless model. Um, as always, there's plenty of stock photos out there on the internet. It's always nice to see what you actually get in, in the box. So this is a fairly um, small form factor um, unit. So if we just open up the, the box, it's important to note that in the standard box, you don't get um, an Australian power supply. So do make sure if you're not decided not to buy from firewallsfornow.com.au um, that you get sent a power supply uh, with the unit as an extra. Some vendors don't ship those. And we do get some manuals. We can look at those at the moment. Um, and then we get the actual unit itself. So we'll just quickly unpack this for you so you can actually have a look. As I said, fairly small form factor. Uh, this is a good picture of what it looks like on the, the front there for you. Um, got the LED lights, um, obviously for each one of the ports that's enabled. Uh, USB at the front um, can take a, a limited number of 3G and 4G dongles on there. Then on the back, um, fairly standard for a sonic wall. Um, you've got the LAN interface and the WAN interface. And then you've got one, two, three, four, five extra ports that can operate as a switch. These can be port shielded, um, which is a, a sonic wall way of uh, visually mapping them together in the uh, interface um, or you can set these up as individual um, DMZs or LANs or WANs um, have many customers who use these to um, uh, load balance between multiple DSL connections so you could have each one of these as a multiple WAN its own internal subnet um, connected to your uh, ADSL router maybe even in bridge mode um, and then you could write some internal load balancing rules um, over at the end here you've got the console port um, if you want to do some command line interface um, stuff. Power supply connections over here um, and we'll just look how that hooks in in a moment. So let's just get the other items out of the box for you. Um, you do have American power supply, not a lot of use to us here in Australia, um, and the network cable. Um, and then we have uh, the power supply here, um, standard IEC connector in there. Um, and standard, um, well, this is a proprietary um, connector. I'm not sure how well you can actually see that, um, but it actually clips clips into the back of the unit um, and fastens in and clips solid so it doesn't actually pull out if it's in the rack. So a nice little feature there. So that's a very quick look at the um, Sonic Wall TZ400. Good throughput, good price, um, great for doing... Um, Load balancing, as I mentioned before.